Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praises, all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you brothers out there through the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth and sincerity. And today, I just want to do a quick lesson on spiritual powers. You know, uh, uh, just put, bring out a few scripts and a few, and a, uh, a few clips that I have here. And uh, Salakia Akium for the uh, advertisements that's about to pop up on some of these YouTube clips. A lot of y'all know what I'm talking about because we always on this unicorn. All right, so with that, I'm going to start off with this first clip, this first scripture. Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Psalms 1, 10, and 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power in the beauties of holiness. From the womb of thy morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. Again, Psalms 110 and 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, in the beauties of holiness. From the womb of thy morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. So in that day, you know, we are going to have spiritual powers. That's right. When people see our spiritual powers, they are going to marvel at us. We are going to be doing things that has never been seen before. We will be able to manipulate the elements. And people will know who is the Lord's people. Continuing on going into spiritual powers. I'm going to bring out this clip of David and Goliath. Then I'm going to jump right into the scriptures. Let's start with this clip. To secure the promised land, the Israelites must defeat the Philistines. King Saul has lost God's power. Israelites. The so called Negroes, faces the Philistines greatest champion. Latinos and Native Americans. Goliath. Them are the true Israelites of the Bible. The Philistines were also a dark race, which were so called Africans. That's right, Israelites, God's chosen people. I'll do it. David, you're no soldier. And who you're stepped a up to the plate? Yes, the shepherd. King David. I'll protect my sheep. God will protect me. Where is so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah? Where is your God? I'll kill him. You'll need this. Yea, though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. 
You are with me. Thy rod and staff. They comfort me. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life. See, Esau makes these movies because they know the scriptures. What well, meaning? They read the scriptures. They don't know the mysteries of the scriptures. Better yet to say. They know who the real Israelites are. Not you Joe, not you Joe Blow Crackers. Now let's get into a, let's get into the scriptures. I'm gonna start with 1 Samuel 17. Start at verse 1. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle, and were gathered together at Shekot, which belongeth to Judah, and pitched between Shekot and Azekah and Ephes Demim. And Saul and the men of Israel gathered together and pitched by the valley of Elah and see and slot and set the battle in array against the Philistines. And the Philistines stood on the mountain on the one side and Israel stood on the mountain on the other side. And there was a valley between them. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Goth, whose height was six cubits in a span. And he was and he had a helmet of brass upon his head. So he was a very tall man, as you can see that was in the video, right? Then he says he had a helmet of brass on his head, and he was armed with a coat of mail, and weight of the coat was five thousand shekels of brass. And he had on greaves of brass upon his legs, and a target of brass between his shoulders, and the staff of his spear was like a weaver's beam, and his spear and his spear's head weighed Six hundred shekels of iron and one bearing shield went before him. So David went out there. I mean, uh, slot Goliath went out there, uh, suited and booted up. You know, all full of armor, shielded up, right? And he stood and cried to the armies of Israel, "Out to set your battle in array. Am not I a Philistine and you servants to Saul?" Choose you a man for you and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall ye be our servants and serve us. That's exactly what he was uh, explaining in that clip. And the Philistines said, defy the armies of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Now David was the son of the Ephraite of Bethlehem, Judah, whose name was Jesse. And he had eight sons. And the man went among men for an old man in the days of Saul. All right. So now uh, uh, I'm going to jump. I'm going to jump ahead and get more close to the battle. It says... Start at 32. Start at same chapter. We're going to start at 32. It says, And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth. He was a man of war from his youth. Right? Because uh, when you go into the history, David was just a shepherd, you know? 
and basically uh, uh, Goliath was trained uh, a warrior since from his youth. And David said unto Saul, the servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. And I went out of after him, and smote him, and delivered it out of his mouth. And when he arose against me, I caught him by his beard, and smote him, and slew him. See, so David was telling him, like, you know, I've been through some things, basically, you know. Thy servant slew both the lion and the bear, and the uncircumcised Philistines shall be as one of them, seeing he have defied the armies of the living power. All right. So, you know, he's basically saying, look, man, I slew this lion and I slew this bear. I'm going to also slay this Philistine just like it. You know, so David said, moreover, the Lord, Yahweh, that delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he would deliver me out of the hand of the Phil of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, go, and the Lord, Yahweh, be with thee. All right. David had that faith, you know. And Saul armed David with his armor, and he put a helmet of brass upon his head. Also, he armed him with a coat of mail. And David girded his sword upon his armor, and he said to go, for he had proved it. And David said to Saul, I cannot go with these, for I have not proved them. And David put them off. So that's when you see when he went out there, like when he dropped that, uh, that buckler shield, he dropped it. He's like, I don't need this, you know. And he took off his staff in his hand, and he chose him five smooth stones. One slot. Five, and he chose five smooth stones out of the brook, and he put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had. Even a script in his sling was in his hand, and he drew near to the Philistine. And the Philistines came on, on and drew near unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, and he was, for he was but a youth and ruddy, and was a fair of a fair countenance. And the Philistine said to David, "Am I a dog, that thou comest to to with me? So that thou comest to me with staves?" And the Philistine cursed David by his gods, uh, cause you know uh, they. They worshipped a couple gods, but I know one of the gods was a uh, was Dagon, the fish god. You know, well, I would call them. There was their gods, but we would call them idols. You know, because we got the true living power, Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh. Continuing on, it says, and the Philistines said to David, "Come to me, and I will give thy flesh into the fowls of the air, into the beasts of the field." Then said David to the Philistine, "Thou comest." To me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. Right? So basically the uh uh Goliath was mocking him, you know. And uh David told him, You coming with all these things. But this is what David says. Uh but I come to thee in the name of Yahweh of hosts, the power of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day well, will the Lord Yahweh deliver thee into my hand, and I will smite thee and take thy head from the, from thee, and I will give the carcasses of the hosts of the Philistines this day into the fowls of the air, into the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a power in Israel, and all the assembly shall know that Yahweh saveth, saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is of Yahweh's, and he will give you into our hands. It is. And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew nigh to meet David, that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slang it and smote the Philistine in his forehead, that the stone sunk into his forehead and he fell upon the face of the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no sword in the hand of David. Therefore, David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of his sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith. When the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistine until they come to the valley into the gates of Ekron.